Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a 1940s Dita Von Teese inspired look. Dita Von Teese is honestly I think one of the most beautiful women in the world and I love the fact that she has the same kind of skin as me even though she goes to extreme lengths to protect hers. This is just something that I wore to my brother's 18th party last year and I got a lot of compliments on and it's really easy to do so I thought I'd just film a tutorial on it so here we go. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with NYX Shine Killer. Yeah, because it is 1940s, um, basically everything is going to be matte because that's just the way that it was back then. And Dina Von Teese always has matte makeup, hence why I'm using a shine killing primer. <laughs> and now I'm just going to take my Bobbi Brown corrector in the shade Porcelain Peach and just fix up the dark circles under my eyes. Now I'm just taking a wet beauty blender and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This one's in soft ivory which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. It's a bit more yellow where I'm pink based in my skin tone. Um, but it'll work quite well for this because obviously Dita is very very pale. And now I'm just going to take the beauty blender and just bounce that on the skin. This foundation gives a really full coverage foundation because it is a cream and a little really does go a long way so. So yeah, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell quite as well as I can, but this is one layer and it is really full coverage. Like, apart from where I had really, really red spots, that was just a small amount to put over the top of it. So this is a really good foundation if you have really problematic skin or if you have a lot of scars that you'd like to cover up, like I do on my cheeks. But Yes. No! It just fell on the ground. <laughs> Nick! My NARS powder fell on the ground and it shattered. Oh shit. Shattered. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'll survive. Just this once. Okay, so now because, as I said before, in the 40s everything was very matte, I'm going to take the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Finishing Powder. And if you obviously know Lauren Curtis, which most people who are watching this video should, this is like her favourite product and the company actually attributes the fact that it's always out of stock to the fact that she uses it so consistently in her videos and she swears by it. It's not too bad. Um, it has a little bit more colour in it than I usually like. Like I find that it tends to make my foundation a little bit darker. Um, but it is quite good. So there is that done. As you can see quite flawless. Still a few bits and pieces poking through but I'm not going to cover those up. Literally, it's 6 o'clock on a Monday night and I can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go on to the eyebrows. Okay, so I'm just going to take the normal Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder. And Dita has quite, um, kind of thick but very, very shaped and prominent brows. Which is obviously one of the reasons why I think that she's so amazing because Y'all know me and my brows. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill them in a little bit thicker than what I usually would. Just to get the very detailed look. And then her brow also extends quite a bit down. So I'm just going to drag it kind of lower than what I usually would. As you can see it looks ridiculous but this is Dita. going to run my brush back and forth through the hairs to fill in any sparse areas because as I said before Dita's brows are quite full I don't really want bits of skin poking through and ruining the look so 
so there's one eyebrow done. So nice and arched, just as Dita does them. And I'm just going to set them in place with a normal gimme brow. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and start with the eyes. Now obviously Dita's famous look is winged eyeliner and a bright red lip, but I'm going to start with a matte brown shade just to give a little bit of contrast on the eyelid. Um, and again, keeping it matte because that is the 1940s, 50s look. So I'm just going in with MAC soft brown just here just taking that into the crease and all over the lid as well okay now for the tricky part i'm going to attempt to do this on camera whether it works um is a completely different matter um, I'm going to take the NYX Cosmetics Collection Noir Liquid Black Liner. It just looks like this. So it's just very thin. I'm just going to take that and start in the middle of my eyelid and draw out and then draw a wing and then go and finish it back up. Now I've got the baseline, which is pretty, well, relatively smooth. So the way that you do wing liner, there are a couple of ways you can do it. The easiest way is to get a piece of sticky tape, stick it on the back of your hand, get off the excess stickiness, and then pop it here so it's continuing out your natural lash line. And then you can just fill it in. You don't have to worry about a really straight line underneath. But the way I do it, I'll have to focus over here. The mirror is over here. So just start at the corner. Just do like one stroke up like that. And I'll just lightly go in and kind of fix it up. That's okay. And then you just kind of start maybe three quarters of the way and draw it back in to link up to this main line. more dramatic than what, I, than what I originally would have liked but we're just gonna go with it Now that I've actually looked at it and this eye is a lot thicker than the other, I'm just going to take this simple Kind Eyes um, eye makeup corrector pen. And it just looks like this. Obviously mine's very dirty. But it just has a gentle eye makeup remover so you can really clean up the lines. And it's really cheap too so you don't have to spend big bucks on it. That's looking better. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with CoverGirl Clump Crusher Lash Blast, which is the one in the green tube. Yeah, I'm not going to put anything on the lower lash line because that's just the way that Dita always wears it. She never wears anything on her lower lash line. And I've decided to go against false lashes simply because the liner is so dramatic that you wouldn't really be able to see it. Um, but if you are going to do this for going out, I would suggest just little half ones that kind of flick out at the end for the perfect detailed look. Okay, now I'm going to take Pink Swoon by MAC, which is the perfect colour for this look. This is the same one that I wore to my brother's 18th last year, and it's just the be most beautiful soft flush. Now, Dita doesn't contour or anything, so it's just a bit of blush to bring out that natural flush. So focusing a little bit more on the apples of the cheeks because that is basically the place where they wore the most blush. And then I'm not going to bother with lip liner today, um, but I'm going to go in with the Kate Moss Rimmel lipstick in Triple One Kiss of Life. And this is 
my holy grail red it's not too dark and it's not too light and bright it's just perfect especially for this look um a lot of other lipsticks i find are too dark and they make me look kind of weird and then other ones are just really really bright and you can't wear them for like a 40s or 50s look because it just doesn't suit it so So there we go, that is the Dina Von Teese look. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't anything too difficult. Um, it's really a simple look. You can wear this most days. A lot of people do wear this most days. It's just a normal look really. It's not anything special, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.